Hello everyone, my name is Ryson and welcome back to Ryson Spray Booth. And in this video, we are going to paint this Hero Honda Splendor chassis. This Splendor is a old Hero Honda Splendor. This chassis has never been painted before. So this chassis will be painted for the first time. Before applying the paint, it is very important that you prepare the surface well. If you are following my channel for many years now, you should know this. So come on, let's start the video. Now many times people want to paint their chassis but they cannot acquire that look, that nice glossy black look which was there when the chassis was new. That look many people fail to acquire. Now there can be two reasons for that. One is that you have used the wrong paint and a cheap paint. And the second thing is the preparation that you should be doing before applying the paint that you have not done properly. That is the reason why you have not acquired a nice and good looking finish. Now here you should be taking diesel or a kitchen grease remover and take out all the grease and grime which is there on the surface of the chassis once you are done with that you will have to take a dishwash soap and wash the chassis thoroughly so step one you will have to clean the chassis properly now here you must have noticed that i can see the rust easily because it is nice and clean now so the next step is take a sandpaper and sand in those spaces where there is rust and take out all the rust wherever you will have to use a hammer use it and take out all the rust so in this step wherever there is rust sand in those spaces and take out all the rust once you take out all the rust and once you rinse the chassis your surface will look something like this so once you are done taking out all the rust now it's time to do the rust treatment with vinegar water and once you are done doing the treatment leave it for one day now all these things you will have to do on the chassis because we don't take out the entire chassis often in many years you will take this out only for one time so that one time when you take the chassis out it is our responsibility to prepare it well now the next day when you are done rinsing the chassis, once it is dry, take a wax and grease remover and wipe the entire chassis. Now once you are done doing all that, your chassis will look something like this, nice, clean and grease free. So now it's time to apply the primer. Now since you have taken out all the rust from the chassis, surely there will be bare metal exposed in those areas. Now to properly cover the bare metal and for the paint to get good bonding with the surface, you can apply three types of primer here. One is each primer, one is red oxide primer and one is epoxy primer. Now the cheapest primer here is the red oxide primer which you will get very easily and anywhere in the market but it will not give that much good protection for your metal which the epoxy or the each primer gives. So here I have used the epoxy primer so after applying the epoxy primer on one side of the chassis i have given it one day to dry so after one day i will turn the chassis like this i can turn it now because the epoxy which i had applied is completely dry now now on this side i will wipe the surface with wax and grease remover and now i will apply the epoxy primer on this side Now the next step is sanding. Now you will have to sand the entire chassis. Wherever there are tight spaces, corners, on all those places you will have to sand thoroughly now because after this we will be applying the paint. So once you are done with the sanding process, wipe the entire chassis with a wax and grease remover and now it's time to do the masking. Now on this chassis there will be many nuts welded. So inside those nuts you will have to roll a paper and put inside like this. Wherever there is threaded bolts, see that you apply tape and cover that thread. Otherwise once you apply the paint and if that paint settles on your threaded part then it will become very difficult for you to put the nut or bolt back inside so to avoid that take 10 minutes and do the masking properly so once you are done with the masking now it's time to start with the paint job so come on let's start the painting process So here I'm using single stage polyurethane black paint. The moment I spray this paint, I will get a high gloss. There's no need to apply clear coat on top of this paint. This becomes hard and gives protection to your metal. If you want, you can also apply a base coat clear coat system on the chassis. It totally depends on you. That also I have done. I will put a video of that on this channel in the future. So if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will not miss any of my future videos. Now since you have watched this video till here, it shows 
shows that you have a good interest to learn auto body and painting and you are very much interested in painting your own bike or car so if you want to paint your own bike or car or just a panel it becomes very important that you get the right knowledge so if you want to learn auto body and painting seriously then i have created a course on that where i teach this entire process in a step by step and easy and understandable way i have made detailed videos on this how to organize your spray booth what compressor you need how to mix the paint how to use the spray guns how to do the settings of spray guns how to take out a dent all these things i have shown in that course so if you want to learn seriously then i have put a link of the course in the description below you can go there and get yourself enrolled which will take you to the next level now one important thing i want to tell you guys here to spray the paint on this chassis it takes a lot of time because it has many tight spaces and corners where your paint should go inside and settle and you can easily miss a corner so because of that you should have good lighting in your spray booth or wherever you are painting because you can easily miss a corner now the good thing about this single stage paint is when you spray it in any corner it will become hard and give protection to your metal now on one side i have applied two coats and after applying those two coats your chassis will look something like this but if you are using a base coat clear coat system then you will have to repeat this same procedure two times two coats of base coat and two coats of clear coat so it can take you the entire day to paint this chassis if you miss to apply base coat in a spot and if you apply clear coat on top of it then you will not get good protection for your metal and if you have applied base coat properly and you miss to apply the clear coat in some spots then also your chassis will not get a good protection that is why i suggest that polyurethane single stage black paint is the best for the chassis because this will turn hard and give protection to your metal if you want you can apply two to three coats as well to get more protection and you have very less chances to miss this paint in any of the spots so here i am done applying two coats on one side and i have given it one day to dry now i am painting this chassis in two parts because if you will paint this chassis like this you have very less chances to miss a spot but the drawback of this is you will have to do masking wherever you have applied the paint because you will not want the overspray to settle on that part once you are done doing the masking wherever you will be painting today you will have to do slight scuffing with the sandpaper and wipe the surface with a wax and grease remover and start spraying the paint now caution here is you cannot use a wax and grease remover on the single stage paint or your paint can come out easily you can finish this entire process in one day as well but to do that you will need space to hang the chassis now not everybody will have the place to hang the chassis if you have the place then you can hang the chassis and finish this paint job in one day this video is for those people who don't have space to hang the chassis so without hanging also you can get a professional looking like finish that you will experience in the end of this video So once you are done applying the paint, start to take out the masking and give it one day to dry completely. So I am hoping that you like this video. If you found this video useful, then see that you like and share with your friends and family. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then see that you subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will not miss any of my future videos. Till then, this is Raisin Fernandez signing out and I will see you now in my next video. So go and check out the final shots of the chassis.